This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning everyone. So I want to speak out a very important Indian regarding understanding the mitzvah of Mikra Megillah. The Gemara says in Masech the Megillah and Daf Dalid, Amar Rabbi Shubin Levi, Chayiv Adam Likra says the Megillah Belayla V'lashnai Subayim. A person is obligated to read the Megillah at night and then to repeat it during the day. So you have to read the Megillah twice. Notice that if you read Megillah Sester, it does not say one time to read the Megillah in the night. It only, it only, it says read the Megillah. It doesn't say night and day. The first time we have any statement about reading the Megillah at night is a Gemara Megillah Daf Dalad. There's a famous Mishnah on Daf Chaf. Ein koyrin es hamegillah v'loi molen v'loi toivlin v'loi mazen v'chei ah ad shetanei tzachama. All these mitzvahs you're not allowed to do until nates. The Mishnah doesn't say anything. Oh, that's talking about the day megillah and the night megillah. There's no discussion in the Mishnah about the night megillah. Stam, interesting to know. And then the next Mishnah, whatever is the whole day is kasher l'kriyas hamegillah. And then it says, It doesn't say the whole night is kasher for Kriya Samagila Delilah. So we have this Rabbi Shubhan Levi, and he says, You have to read the Megillah during the night and repeat it during the day. Shinemar. We all know that the chapter in Tehillim that talks about the story of Purim is chapter Chavbei Islam Natsech, Halayel Sashachar, Mizmar Ladavid. That's what I said, thank you. But that Chavbei. What? I mean, I said Bayes, and it's Bet. Okay. No, it's the same thing, no? So, okay. Okay, so the, the whole parak over there talks about the story of Purim. We have Esther calls out, Keli, Keli, Lama Azavtani. And uh, we have uh, many psukim that speak about the miracle of Purim. First Esther calls Ahasuerus a dog, then she calls him a lion, and the Gemara says that she wasn't saved, because even though Ahasuerus was not the most uh, refined individual in the world, but at the end of the day he's the Melech, and even in Be'ez Tzara, listen to this, even Be'ez Tzara, if you don't deal with your adversary and your enemy with Derech Eretz, you're not saved. We just had a Gemara in uh, Chagiga, there are two kinds of Malachim. There's some Malachim, they praise Hashem b'safa brura uvenima keecha noisim reshuzel azeh, and these malachim last forever. But there, there's some malachim they blurt out shirat Hashem and they're instantly destroyed. I mean, what's wrong there? They're trying to praise Hashem. Yeah. You can't just do mitzvahs. You have to do mitzvahs derech eretz. Otherwise, yeah, Rebbeinu Shlom doesn't want it. It's like uh, the the foundation principle of everything. You, your life could be on the line, and you can have somebody who wants to kill you. If you call him a dog, you're not going to be saved. Anyway. You get this Pasuk? God, I call out to you during the day and you don't answer. I call out to you at night and <coughs> I'm not, I have no respite. So the Gemara learns out Mikra Megillah from the Pasuk in Tehillim Perk Chavbez Elaikai Ekra Yoimam Veloisana Velaila Veloidumiyali. The Gemara has a Havamina. The Gemara says that they thought what it meant they have to read the Megillah during the night and repeat it during the day. Lashnoisa, the Gemara says we had a Havamina meant you have to learn the Masech the Megillah during the day. Because Lashnoisa is a Lashna of Shinon, a Lashna of Mishnah. And the Gemara says no, Shinon doesn't mean learning the Mishnah. Shinon means you repeat it. Like people say, learning the Parsha and repeating it again. <clears throat> Fine. So we, we lay in the Megillah at night and we repeat it during the day. Comes Tosis. Now we have a great dilemma over here. Because we know we make a Shekhyanu on the Mikra Megillah at night, like we do for all mitzvahs that come at Mizman Lazman. What about Shekhyanu during the day? Um, Pashtus, there's no reason you should make a Shekhyanu. You don't make a Shekhyanu the second time you take a little of an Esau. You don't make a Shekhyanu the second time you send the Sukkah. Why would you make a Shekhyanu in the morning? And you say, oh, I know that uh, you know, they make an announcement that you go on the Mitzvah's Hayyim. Nah, there's nothing to do with the Mitzvah's Hayyim. Let's say you're not leaning the Megillah. You don't make a Shekhyanu on Mishlai Achmanus. You don't make, you don't, you're not going to make a Shekhyanu on a Mitzvah. They don't even make a Bracha over the Mitzvah. It's only like, once you need to make a Shekhyanu, anyway, you could also have in mind the Mitzvah Sayyim. And therefore the Rambam Paskins, you're not allowed to make a Shekhyanu during the day. And Sfardim, in fact, don't make a Shekhyanu on the leaning during the day. And the Gras says that the, the Sfar of the Rambam is, the same way, what's the halacha if you put together a lulav and esrog? 
The Gemara says you can make a Shekhyano. And then when you take it for the first time, you don't have to make a Shekhyano. So therefore the Gemara says, Laning the Megillah at night is not less than putting together a Lul of an Esrik, where you can make a Shachyonah and putting together a Lul of an Esrik and it covers the shaking. So, too, if you make Shachyonah in the night reading, it'll cover the day reading. Or we know you're allowed to make a Shachyonah when you build your sukkah and it covers the yeshiva. So, certainly, you should be able to make a <coughs> Shachyonah in the night reading and it should cover the day reading. But there's a. But, uh, but Taisus disagrees. <coughs> and Taisus says, no, you can make a Shachyonah again during the day. Why? Because the Iker Mitzvah is during the day. Because it's the first time you're reading the Megillah this year. So you have to make two Shekhyanos. I. the question is, why is it worse than building your sukkah where you can make a Shekhyano and it covers the Iker Mitzvah? Certainly over here, a lower level Mitzvah, if you made a Shekhyano, it should work for the Iker Mitzvah. In other words, the Graz proof to the Ramam seems very compelling that <clears throat> by, by building a sukkah, the shachiyonu on building the sukkah should cover, it does cover the yeshiva sukkah, so why wouldn't the shachiyonu on the night reading cover the day reading? So we once gave a share on that, and you can look over there, that the svara is, Taisus holds, no, when you build a sukkah, building the sukkah is for the purpose of sitting in it. So it's secondary, it's subsumed by sitting in it. So the shachyonu that you make on building the sukkah is, being, is, is for the express purpose of the mitzvah of the sukkah. But the laning of the Megillah at night is an independent mitzvah from the laning of the Megillah during the day, and therefore the shachyonu on it won't go for the during the day. Okay, so Toysa says like this. The Re says that even though you make a shachyonu at night, you make it again during the day, the Iker Parsume Nisa have a Bakriya Diyamama. Which is a Pella, you know, women come to Shul at night, and then during the day they're scrounging around to get someone to read for them. It's not correct. If they can only come to Shul once, Avada and Avada, they have to come during the day. The Iker Parsume Nisa, I mean, they don't have to come either. It's better if they come. So the main Megillah is during the day. What's the proof? Because everyone comes at night, you know? But <clears throat> now the Rekeach Taka holds the Iker Mitzvah is during the night. But we don't pass like that. Nobody passes that way. We pass like Toysus, that the Iker Mitzvah is during the day. Toysus says, I'll bring you another proof. The Raya, from what Pasuk and Tilim do we learn out Mikra Megillah? Eloikai, Ekra, Yoimam, the Laisana, the Laila, the Laidumiyali. First, Dawud Melch mentions the Kriya of the day, and then he mentions the Kriya of the night. So that shows the Iker is the day. Furthermore, the Gemara says, What's the halacha if you have Sudas Purim at night? Yatsa or La Yatsa? La Yatsa. And the Gemara made a, makes a hekish between Sudas Purim and Mikra Megillah. Vayom Elam, Nizkarim and Asim. Nizkarim is Kriyasa Megillah, Nasim is the Suda. So just like the Suda is during the day, Mikra Megillah, the Iker is during the day. Okay? So, so far, what we know is that the main mitzvah of Mikra Megillah is during the day, and the night is secondary. What we're going to learn today is many nafkaminas of what it means, of what are the ramifications that the night Megillah is secondary to the day. Okay? So now let's talk about, um, I'm going to tell you, a chidush noira of atzum of the Shagas Aryeh in the Turei Heaven. We know that the Shagas Aryeh, it's one of the all-time great Lamda Shusfarim, he wrote a parish on Masech the Megillah called Turei Heaven. So he says a chidush like this. Says the Turei Heaven... And the Noid Behuda concurs <clears throat> that when we say the Iker Mitzvah is during the day and the night is Tafel, what that means is Mordechai and Esther and Anshe Knesset Gdola were Masakin, Kriya Samagila during the day. Right? If I were to ask you, is Kriya Samagila Dairaisa or Drabanan? That's a, that good, good answer. That's the answer I wanted everyone to say. But, but it's really in between. It's really in between the Yeah, it's after the fact. <coughs> but is Mikra Megillah the Rabban The answer is it's in Now is Divrei Nevi'im Doi Rais or the Rabbanon? Divrei Kabbalah Kedivrei Torah Damya. It's like a Doi Regarding what? I'm going to give away one half Kamina. Says the Mishnah Bura. Let's say like this: you come, to, you come to the Megillah, or no, no, it's like a Purim day, and you're drinking, and you're drinking. I don't know what Corona beer. Let's say, ha ha ha. 
and you know, and you're really, you've really lost it. You don't know. Did I hear the Megillah? I don't remember. I'm a supik if I heard the Megillah. Do you have to hear the Megillah again? I'm a supik. Ask somebody. You're not in a. You already heard at night? Or it doesn't. Your phone, the phone doesn't work. They put you in quarantine and they turned off your phone. Let's find the worst case scenario. Right? So, Suffolk, you're Masupic whether you heard the Megillah. So, we would have thought, Sagram Lakula. Says, Mr. Bro, no, it's not a Durabonon. It's Midrei Kabbalah. It's Midrei Navim. Suffolk. Suffolk, the Raisa Khumra. Comes the uh, Shagas Aryeh, this din. Now, what about Shachmanis? I don't know if I gave Shachmanis. Same thing, Suffolk Dai Raisa Lechumra. Shachmanis is Dai Raisa. You don't know if you give Shachmanis. You gotta be. Matan. Matan Savyonim. Matan Savyonim. Why don't you just call the Rav? People are very scared. Right? Matan Savyonim. Suffolk Dai Raisa Lechumra. Make Sudas Purim. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I ate a meal. Suffolk Dai Raisa Lechumra. Why? I mean, it's not Dai Raisa. Yes, it is. It's made the rain of Vim. What about Kriyas HaMegillah? Suffolk Dai Raisa Lechumra. Comes the Shagas That's only the day Megillah is Dai Raisa. The night Megillah is not from the Nevi'im. The Nevi'im never said to read the Megillah at night. The Rabbanon said to read it at night. It's Amar Rabbi Shua ben Levi. Chayiv Adam Lechris has Megillah Belayla. It's only Din Drabanon. Yeah? Leaning the Megillah is only Midrabanon. And therefore, <coughs> we don't apply the rule of Savik Dairais al Khumra. We say Savik Drabanon Lakula for the night Megillah. What about the Brach of Shah? What? Or according to that. Why you mean according, this, yeah. why this far in, how is the night Shahiyanu Yait to the day? The answer is exactly what the Gra says. Because built, um, making a lulav is not a mitzvah dairaisa, not a mitzvah drabanon, and yet the shachianu they make on making the lulav works for the mitzvah. Certainly a drabanon for a dairaisa. And by the way, you could add, if you look in a footnote in the Sefer, um, the Nitziv and the Sasema say that why were the Rabbanon Masakein reading the Megillah night? So that you should be fluent in reading it during the day. So it's all a hachana for the day. So then the shachiyana would work. So this is the first nafkamina, and it's an amazing idea. Says the Shagis Aryeh, you could look in all the Mishnahis and Megillah. Nowhere does it talk about reading the Megillah at night. You could look in the Mishnah and Daf Chaf. It talks about the day reading. Chaf Amad Beis, the day reading. The whole pasuk of Nizkarim the Nasim, from which we learn Mikra Megillah, it's comparing it to the Suda, which is done during the day. So, that's, so therefore it's speaking about Mikra Megillah of the day. It's not speaking about Mikra Megillah at night. So this is an amazing nafkamina if you're Masupik, if you read the Megillah. Next nafkamina. So can we just come out the Purim is the Arisa? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty wild. Yeah, right? You heard it here first. K, 2020. No, it's not the right. It's, it's me, the Reign of Vigam. It's like a Arisa. It's Kedera. I mean, I just feel like it's, uh, you know. It's Kedera. It's Kedera. It's Kedera. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, it's like at, at a certain point. I mean, it's just it's, it's like just the rabbanon. No? I mean, it's mid rabbanon. It's not the rabbanon. It's not until sidayim. Until sidayim is the rabbanon. Mikra megillah is from the prophets. God, they know, had divine communication. That's very nice, but that's not the reason. The reason is because the prophet said it. Prophet, they had divine communication. The transitional era. When Shlomo Amelch made Natil Sidayim, he made it as a the Chachamim. But when they made Mikra Megillah, they made it as Nevi'im. But it wasn't, but the, the Megillah itself wasn't divinely communicated. It only was ratified by the Chachamim that it should be included in the Divri Nevi'im. But That's, it wasn't, it wasn't, didn't come down. It didn't the say, Mark talks about I, it. Esther, you know, I'm Mordechai received about it does this. Come. It did it's come a Machloikis, but we conclude, Rabbi Lazar Reimer, Esther Bracha Kodesh Namra. True, true, but that's the only kind of, true, but, no, but there's nothing, but there's nothing in Esther that indicates that what she's receiving has any divine providence to it. This reminds you of a story. No, 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 no. This is a lump of Shashir, I mean. Uh, I remember telling my father, like, it, it's not, it's not Bidiyeh, but it's once you miss, Lechatchilo, this is the next best thing to do. He's like, Bubala, that's Bidiyeh. Bidiyeh means two things. Bidiyeh means Vishas Atchak. And it means post facto. But I'm saying, like, uh, Midrabanan, you know, 
No, so this is not Midrabana. Not Midrabana means. No, yeah. not, not Midrabana. There's a something called the Rekh Kabbalah. It's not the same as Nevoah. It's also different. Correct. Yeah. Nevoah is not the Raisa either. But, by the way, so the we're not... So one second, I just want to clarify something. Esther was not written by Nevoah, it was written by Ruch HaKodesh, right? Right. However, the mitzvahs of Purim were established by Nevi'im. And what's established by Novi is Ke'ein Doiraisa. Regarding what? Yes. Oh, what's the difference between Devei Kabbalah and Devei Torah? Is there another example? That, that I'm that not sure right so, now. So Hilchas Hanukkah. Hanukkah is different though because that's already post the era of Nevi'im because after Mordechai died. Absolutely. So there are no Nevi'im in the times of Hanukkah. So that's an Mordechai yeah. Purim comes into the time when it's still right, right before the actual age. Yeah. And afterwards, it's already yeah. Uh, yeah. more Nevi'im. Yes. So it's the last, the last theorizing. It's you might really say. the last of the Nabi. Probably the last theorizing. Yeah, they're yeah. They're the last breaths of Nabi. Here, it's by the way. I just want to tell you that the lashon of the Mishnah Brura is he quotes the Prima Gadim. Shh, I don't do well with, with ambient noise. Okay, the Mishnah Brura says he quotes the Prima Gadim that Safek im Karas Hamagila Yitachin Deloy Amrin on Savik Drabban on Lakula. He doesn't say definitively. He says maybe. He says, maybe, but that's how we paskin. We paskin like that, maybe. Comes the Sharat Sion. Now, I would have thought that the Chiddush of the Shagas Aryeh, I don't think most people are aware that there's a difference between the night and the day. In fact, I think most people think the Iker Mitzvah is the night. But the Sharat Sion paskins like the Shagas Aryeh, that the night is only Durabanon, and Suffolk Durabanon, the Kula, on the night. So the Megillah has a special quality to it. In fact, there's, you know, Halayla, like there is a central plot twist in the Megillah. Halayla, yeah, it happens at night, you know. So, so there's something about the night in the Megillah the you don't happen. see in any other Mishnah Also, you can say Midivay Nevi, like you said yesterday. Yeah. Who mentioned over there Hata, which is Daniel? That's also Daniel. Whether Daniel is a Navi is also a great debate. Daniel may not have been a Navi. So, also Machlekes Rashi in the Shagas Arya was Daniel a Navi. <laughs> yeah, no, Daniel, Daniel wasn't necessarily... A no- okay, next Navkamina. Any villagers over here? Are you a villager? Where do you live in L.A.? In the, par- in the park? It's, a park in the vi- it's like a village. In the village? In the valley? The um, villagers. So villagers could advance the reading of the Megillah to Yudal, if you'd you'd Gimel Yudalid. The reason is because we want them to be able to supply food to their brothers in the big cities. And the Gemara says they're complete Amaratsim. They can't read Hebrew. And they need to go into the big city for a learned person to read the Megillah for them. So since they're going in on the preceding Monday or Thursday, we let them read the Megillah on the preceding Monday and Thursday. Could someone tell me, these villagers, who is, who is reading the Megillah at night for them? Who's reading the Megillah at night for them? They're going in in the morning. Night's not a big deal. Exactly. The Ran says, the night is the Rabbanon, and there were never Masake and Kriyas HaMegillah. At night for villagers. They only sang for regular people. It's a takon of the rabbanon. The rabbis made it for regular Jews. Jews don't know how to read. They don't have to hear it at night. So women don't know how to read. No. No, women know how to read. They, they weren't masakin it for villagers. For, you hear this? It's a ran. It's a rishon. That the, the night Megillah is only the rabbanon. The whole day. The whole day got moved up. The whole day got moved up. No, it's a special allowance that we allow them to read the Megillah during the day. We, and, we don't, and what are they going to do at night? Don't read it. Well, the reason we allow them to read it in the day is because they need to supply food. They're right. coming in anyway. Right. All of those things allow us... But, who reads, them, but who reads the Megillah for them at night? He's saying anyway, they're not going to get any. Exactly. So the, because they're not going to get any, let them know while they're in town. But the question is, are they chayiv in the Megillah at night? The answer is no. They're not chayiv in the Megillah. They're not chayiv. They're, not chayiv. they're, not chayiv. Meaning, uh, they're also not chayiv on, on Tazwab. Ever, no, but uh, all Jews are chayv on Yadalad. They're be'at some chayv on Yadalad. No, but they have an exemption. They, they not, can't the be... Exemption like, there's no <coughs> chayv. Um, their whole day exemption. gets pushed off. Their whole chayv of that day. What does it mean it gets pushed off? You can't push off Nevei Nevi'im. It was... Well, the Gemara talk, that's a whole first half, right? You can't push off a Dairaisa. Someone has to put on tefillin. The rabbi's going to say, well, because you have to help some... This is a Dairapana. <laughs> no, no, because it should be at olive, it should be a base. Well, it can't right. be before then, it can't be after then. Right. right. So, so what I'm saying is that there's no. No, by the way, that's a good point. In other words, how could the, if it's if it's midivrei neviim, 
let's say it's Mizrahi on Yudalad, how could the Chachamim come along and push off a Dairaisa to Yudal if you'd base? So you know who discusses that? That's the very first Dav Beis and Aleph and Megillah. That's the first Kashem Sech to Megillah. The Gemara asks, it has to be Yud Aleph, Yud Beis, Yud Gimel is also Midrami Nevi'im. Because it was the Rabbanon, the rabbis can't push Nevi'im. So the Gemara says, Yud Aleph, Yud Beis, Yud Gimel is Midrami Nevi'im. But the Ran is saying, not the night. The night is only the Rabbanon. Since only the Rabbanon, you don't have to do it at night. That's a Chiddush Atzim of the Ran. That based on what we're saying, that the night Megillah is only the Rabbanon, the rabbis, Heim Amru, Heim Amru, they never required villagers to read the Megillah at night. That's wild. Let's say somebody is ill and they can only hear the Megillah one time. Night or day. Night or day. What do you say? Day, right? That's what we're coming out. That's not so, so now that's not so it. <laughs> Because well, there's, fa- there's a shayla, there's a, um, a famous machlokas between the radvaz and the chacham tzvi. Let's say you're in jail, and you can only get out one day a year. What day should you choose? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember this? I remember this one, yeah. So some say, um, some or, say, uh, uh, Yom Kippur. Or some say and some Why? say, <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> Zrizim Akdim in right. So if you only hear the Megillah once, it's probably the same machlokas. Do we say, Go for tomorrow, which is the Dairaisa, or do we say, Zriza yeah, Makdim and just get, uh, nail it? Maybe, because you never know. Maybe you won't make it till tomorrow. Well, so you can if you, you say, forget about just Zriza Makdim. If you have a mitzvah in front of you, you <coughs> skip it. You have an opportunity to do mitzvah. Exactly the point. Yeah, actual chiv. No, These things, not Zriza, it's a uh, mitzvah baliyod cha yeah. kach mitzana. So much stronger, that's a much stronger. There's a shaila though, is that called mitzvah baliyod cha? If it's, it's not a Dairaisa? No, I can't do it. No, I can't do it. It's not Baliyadi. No, give me the opportunity. You get, the guy walks in, Eric, and says, you get a 24 hour or 12 hour release. Mitzvah Baliyadi. By the way, Mitzvah Baliyadi, I don't think you mean Mitzvah Baliyadi. You mean um, In Mavirin Al Mitzvah. So In Mavirin Al Mitzvah is only when you physically have the Mitzvah in front of you. Wait, right. The guy's giving the opportunity now. Be, tonight, you can no, but it's not in front. I, that's an opportunity, but the mitzvah is not in front of me. So, okay. <clears throat> the chi is not um, there now. You can't do this instance. No, I, I ask you right now. The, just, the clock mm-hmm. just changed. Time has just ended. Right now, there's a chi of, of uh, Megil- to hear Megillah. Go out, yeah, it, go out tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow morning. Did you go out? Yeah, but morning? I don't have a Megillah. I can't. There's one across the street. You have to go. Uh, <clears> that's not called in Mavirin al Mitzvahs. Uh, for example, if let's say. Why? You have an opportunity. There's a mitzvah right now. It's, no. It's a mitzvah, it's just Let me explain. Shal Yad, Shal Yad. Yeah. Shal Yad, Shal Yad. Talis and tefillin. <coughs> no, talis and tefillin. If my tefillin is on this table and the talis is on the front table, I'm allowed to physically pass by my, t- my tefillin to get my talis. I have to put on the tefillin first. But if the tefillin is in a side room and I'm just passing by the room, we don't say in Mavir and Alam It has to be the item of the mitzvah is mamish in front of me. Here, I'm in jail. Well, why? We don't say that by, well, let's say by a bris. We had a bris yesterday. No, you have to, the second that the... That's Zrizim Akdim in the Mitzvah. That's not Eim Mavirin. No, because you're supposed to do it right that day. At the because of Zrizim, not because of Eim Mavirin. Eim Mavirin is... So we have the same time of time. Okay, we'll right. Of, uh, that's why I said Zrizim. You're right, Eim Mavirin is stronger, but it doesn't always apply. Okay, next Naf Kamina. Ready for this? Let's say, in your shul, the rabbi comes in in ridiculous costumes. Let's say. Okay. You know, one year he dresses up like, uh, look at me. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and one year you look at him, a clown, and this year you look at him, he's wearing a shaito. Okay, very interesting, a little bit strange. And upon further analysis, it's not the rabbi, it's the rabbitson. Can the rabbitson <laughs> lane the Megillah for the tzibar? Can a woman lane the... What do they do in L.A.? <laughs> <laughs> What's the Shiloh? What's the Shiloh? Shiloh is Why not? What's the Shiloh? The Shiloh is No, no, no. So obviously, obviously the woman's not singing because it's Kalisha. So let's say she's just saying the words. Can she be Moitzi a man? Now what's the Shiloh? No, so she'll say the words. She won't sing. She'll do Vayehi bimei achash veirosh Hu achash veirosh hamoylech with that voice, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's the shayla? If it's the same piyuv? Yeah, whether a woman's chiyuv is the same level as a man's. So if a woman has the same piyuv as a man, that she could be mighty. Did you ever come home, you're not feeling well, you can't drink the grape juice, and you say to your wife, can you make kiddush for me? Did it ever happen? No. It could happen. Always in game to make It could happen. It could happen. Question about Havdalah? Havdalah is a shayla. 
Can a woman be moitzi a man in in uh, Mikra Megillah? They have to be keeping it. Isn't there a different bracha for for the woman? So one second. Slow, slow. And if they read it, is it called Megillah's Mordechai? So. <laughs> okay. So. I know in Megillah it says in Megillah. So. Women used to have an idea and used to read. Says used the Gemara. To, used to read the portion and then they didn't, men didn't know, so he said. It. Says the Gemara. Amar Rabbi Shua ben Levi. Nashim chayavais the Mikra Megillah. Sha'af hein hoyu ba'isayanis. Says Toysus. Mikan mashma shahanashim moitziyos es acherim yidei chayvasan. From here we see women can be moitzi others. Because why does it say women are chayv in Mikra Megillah? It should say women are chayv to hear the Megillah. The fact that it says a chayv to, in reading it, that means they could be mighty others. And the Bahag Paskins, Isha, uh, uh, and that's what this Gemara is mashma. However, the Bahag holds that a woman can only be mighty a woman, but not a man. Why? So, there's a question what's Psha in the Bahag? One Psha is. Because women are not chayv to read the Megillah, they're only chayv to hear. So since she has a lower level chiyav, she can't, she can't be mitzi a man. But that's not mashma in the Gemara. The Gemara is mashma, women are chayv to read. So according to the mashma, so the Gemara, that women are chayv to read, they should be able to read for men. Comes a Shagas Arye and he says a chidosh nifla, that a woman cannot be mitzi a man. You ready? If you came down to this world just to hear this lambdas, it was a good trip. Ready? Dayeno, exactly. Says the Shagas a woman cannot be mitzi a man. Why not? Because a man, when he reads the Megillah, who obligated a man to hear the Megillah? A man. Who obligated the men to hear the Megillah? Yes, the who, the who, which the institution? The prophets. It's midavay neviim. Neviim are like doy raisa. How about women? Who obligated women to hear the Megillah? Why are women obligated in the Megillah? It's man grama. It, the answer is, Amar Rabbi Shua ben Levi, Chayiv, Likrois, Because Av hein hoyu, Boisay anis. Av hein hoyu, Boisay anis. Is that a doi raisa de kasvara? I have a question. Where, are women Chayiv to sit in the sukkah? The Chayiv to eat matzah? I'm going to get to that in a minute. Are women Chayiv to sit in the sukkah? No. No. Why not? But Afin Hoyu Baisanes. Were there Ananea covered? Clouds of glory. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's how he passed Your name is Eliezer. What he, that's what he says. Yeah? So, clouds of glory. Afin Hoyu Baisanes. Paisu says, Afin Hoyu Baisanes does not apply to the Iraisas. And then Toysa says another pshat, even if it applies to the it's only apply, it's only Mikhail of the Midrabanon. We'll never bring him to the Dirais later. Right. Or Toysa, okay. So Afhein Hayu Ba'isa Hanez Pashtus is Asvar Midrabanon. That if men that if men are chayv in something, the rabbi said women are also chayv. It's a rabbinic svara, it's not a, a biblical svara. So why are men chayv to hear the Megillah during the day? Neviim. Oh, Why are you said before that Esther was in Nevia also? That's so. fine. So she wasn't the one who was mechay of you. A, w- a, a woman can be. So, so what? A woman can be mechay of you. She just not chay no, herself. He's, he's, so, you can say also a woman. No. She was never mechay of you. No. Because no. a woman was mechay of you. How do you know it's not chay of a woman also? Because the Gemara says that the reason why women are chayiv is afhin hoyu ba'isanes, so clearly the Gemara is saying they were not. They need the afhin hoyu ba'isanes, and and because it's it's mangrama. So why is it better for women to listen to the day megillah? So one second. Pirates only the Raman. <coughs> one second. Everything's. I'm going to explain. It's a different subject. According to the, the right, right. Well, we're going to so come to like that. Good, good. So that means men's chiv is doi raisa, women's chiv is drabanan. A woman can't read for a man because a man is chayv mid doi raisa, a woman's only chayv mid drabanan. But says the Shagas Arye, that's the day reading. The night reading, even men are only chayv mid drabanan. So then she could read the Megillah. The Rabbitson could read the Megillah at night. So then Asi's asking, so now she's asking that shlugs up what I started the share with. Because that means women are always only chayiv midrabanan. So then you don't say the day is more important than night for the women. Why? Mikra so, Megillah might be only the rabbanan, but what about the mitzvah of Prisum Enisa? That's also a mitzvah. It's not a Rama? separate mitzvah. There's no separate. It's, it's a. It's, a, it's also a mitzvah just my Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, so if, you're saying, if you're saying that the woman can read, 
what about kol kvuda bat melech pnima? That's that's weird. 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 That's no, so one second. As he's saying, according to this, women are only chayim and rabbanon even during the day. So then, l'chara, they let them come to whichever one they want. So now, it's not so posh that a woman can read the Megillah at night for a man. Listen carefully. Men at night are what? Drabbanon. What, what, how many drabbanons? One drabbanon. They're be'ikr chayiv midirei neviyim during the day, and the rabbis extended it during the night. Women at night are chayiv What? Two the Rabbanans. Men are chayev midavei neviyim. The rabbis pushed it to the night. And women are not even chayev and the rabbis push them. So they're a double the Rabbanan. Uh, there's called double the Rabbanan. And men are one the Rabbanan. And Toysus and Shas says usually two the Rabbanans can't be mighty one the Rabbanan. No, it's it's a weaker link. No, it's, no, it's not. It's like. So what if a woman? What if a woman has a shaila whether she said it at night? What what if she has a shaila if she heard it she at night? During the day. During the night. night. No, during. No, any but at night is the rabbanon for sure. See, she doesn't remember she heard it. She's the rabbanon. Is she? She's Yeah. One second. During the days. Right. The shaila is here. If a man is um, a husband and wife both say we're not sure if we heard the megillah. Here's a good one. But if we did, we went together. <laughs> so the man is chayiv. The woman is pater. So do we say the man's chayiv obligates the woman? Do we say the woman's pater exempts the man? Okay, that's beyond. <laughs> that seems so we don't let them let them, <clears throat> we let them be in charge of the <laughs> Right. Okay, one more nafkamina. One more nafkamina. Oh, uh, Morty wants to know. Um, are women chayiv in matzah? Right. So Pashtas, they should not be, because Afin Hoyu and this doesn't apply to Dairaisas. But there's a Gzera Shava. The Gemara says, Kol Shiyeshnai, anyone who's now read Chomets has to eat Matzah. Okay, last Nafkamina. Question. Dairaisa. There's only two options. Third option. I think because they yeah. the body rise. Right, right. Right. It says, Lo yisrech alav toichal alav matzis. Kol sheyesh and vav toichal matzis. Be isrech hamitz. Okay, one last nafkamina. Archaim simen samach. Yesh oimrim she'ein mitzvah yisrichas kavana. Question. You come to shul, you shake a lul of an esrig, you go home. And that's all you did. Do you get schar in Oilam Abba? Do you not get schar in Oilam Abba? You get schar. Why? Because you said the Yiratzon. Yiratzon, Shikivanti. That's not the case. No, the Noi Debihuda. Oh, he said all you did was shake the Lulav. You follow, you you follow the Noi Debihuda and you, you didn't say it. You didn't say this Yiratzon. I don't say it. Noi Debihuda said it. Probably not your team, Rabbi. Did you stay for the Shir or not? What? Did you stay for the Shir or not? Factual. Question, you did a mitzvah, you didn't have kavanah, you yoytze? Yesh oimrim... Yesh oimrim yotza. Yesh oimrim tzrichos kavanah. How do we paskin? Mitzvahs tzrichos kavanah. Okay? Now, it happens to be the Chai Adam has a redeeming svara. Chai Adam says, well, who in their right mind would go to shul to shake a lul of an esrog for anything other than doing a mitzvah? So we apply the rule, staman l'shma. But putting the chayyadim aside, for a dairaisa you must be mechavin. How about the rabbanons? Many achronim say the rabbanons don't require a kavana. The Mishnah Bura happens to say the rabbanons require kavana, but many achronim say they don't. So that's another nafkamina. The the megillah during the day is kein dairaisa. Sorry, kein dairaisa, and therefore we say safek dairaisa. Not so the Raisa, Mitzvah Srikha's Kavana. During the night is only the Rabbanon. You don't have to have Kavana. Women would not have to have Kavana. It happens to be the Mishn Brewer personally paskins, the Rabbanons do need Kavana. And therefore, Halach Lamaisa, when before you hear the Megillah, you should be Mechavain to Mikhaim the Mitzvah of Mikra Megillah, both during the day and during the night. When you give your friend Shachmanis, before you give it, you should be Mechavain to Mikhaim the Mitzvah of Mishlach Manos. When you give your, uh, somebody Matanas of Yonim, you should be Mechavain. 
And uh, what else? Before you eat the Suda, you should be mechavein to mechayim, the mitzvah of Suda's Purim. Okay, Rabbi Yisai, have a great day. Shkayach. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.